Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. Welcome. So in today's video, we have a little bit going on. One of our YouTube family members recommended that I use some black shades in this chandelier. So I did order some from Amazon and we are going to go ahead and put them in the chandelier in this space. I also have a new piece of furniture, so I can't wait to share that with you all as well. Anytime you want a different look on your chandelier, you can do things like we're doing today, which is change your lampshades on your chandelier. You can also change your light bulbs. I do have some new light bulbs. I can't wait to share those with you all. And that's going into another space and it's definitely going to give my life fixture a totally different look. So now I'm just going to add these black lampshades and then we're going to add the new piece of furniture to the space. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. a new piece of furniture it's actually a chest it's going to be replacing this chest but before i do i need to remove the items off of this chest to put the new one in place All right, so I haven't decided if I'm going to hang this art in this direction, which I like the height of this art, or this direction. Now, if I hung it in this direction, it will be because of the direction of the detail on this chest. So either way, I can't go wrong because the, the hooks on the back of this art goes in vertical as well as horizontal. So I haven't decided yet, but We'll see what we come up with in another video. Now, this bedding, a lot of people ask me about this bedding. It's from Brooklyn. I absolutely love it. It's affordable and it's oversized. So all you need is your duvet and your set. So this one is the bedding bundle, which came with the duvet, the sheets, as well as the pillowcases. Absolutely love it. Cannot, cannot go wrong. And with that being said, I did pick up some pillows from their sister company, Marlo. I absolutely love them. Let me show you. So this is the box that their pillow came in. Very nice packaging. And here is the pillow. I've already taken it out of my pillowcase. So the cool thing about these pillows is they come with the cooling infused foam, so the airflow is really good. But one of the really good features that I love is that you can adjust the firmness of the pillow by just zipping and unzipping. So my husband likes a firm pillow, so we just zip both sides. I like a plush pillow, so I just unzip both sides. And if you like a medium firm pillow or a medium flush, plush pillow, you just zip one side. Absolutely love that. Really great idea. The last pillows we had, my husband 
overstuff them trying to make them really firm and it busts our pillowcase where it busts his and those black pillowcases on my bed they're busted one of them is busted because he was trying to make his pillow firm so all you have to do is just zip these up and you got a really firm pillow for me i want it open because i like it plush and really soft breathable it's made with that uh micro i think it's called micro microbial antimicrobial which keeps your pillows fresh and clean great great idea and it's really comfortable he he has one here he did ask me to order him one for the fire department because you know my husband is a fireman and he doesn't sleep real good at, at work so he don't want to take his pillow from home and back uh back to work all the time so i'm going to order him one for work absolutely love my pillow so and it stays a king with him over stuff in that pillow it was no longer a king it was more like a semi-body pillow which he does not need he just you know it's pretty much just busted the whole pillowcase so here it is firm absolutely love it fits really good into just a standard king pillowcase with no issues i absolutely recommend it and Right now, Marlo is having their spring sale and you can get up to 30% off your purchase now through May 2nd. But if you use my link, you can get an additional 25% off your purchase. So be sure to click the link in the description so you can get that additional 25% off. So now we're going to move upstairs and hang those curtains on the track rod. I think that's what it's called. But anyway, I purchased it from Ikea, so I'm ready to hang those. So let's go ahead and move upstairs. All right, everyone, now we're going to move upstairs and I'm about to take down the old curtains and curtain rods. So I'm going to be using some curtains I already had. I pulled them from another room, so we're going to hang those. And I chose to use this track set because my curtains were long and I didn't want to cut them. So the easiest way uh, to achieve the look that I was going for was to hang them from the ceiling instead of from the wall. So we're going to use the single track set from Ikea. They also have a triple one and I thought about using that one and that one will be really good for if you wanted to layer your curtains. So in this case, we're just going to do one layer of curtains and that's it. This track set was one of the easiest things I ever hung before in my life. I literally just made a mark in the center of the window to kind of give me an estimated uh, length of how long I wanted my tracks to be. And I already had the little cutting tool on hand, although I think the blade was needed or used for wood, it still worked on this metal. So I just literally just scored it all the way around using the cutting utensil and I used my foot to kind of break it, separated it and that was it. And I did the exact same thing to the other one and now I'm just measuring four drill holes that will be four inches off the wall and that's it. We're going to put the little screws in the wall, attach our tracks, and hang our curtains. And since we'll be using two tracks because my window is longer than the 55 inches, 
I had to use the attachment and it came with the kit. So it's really easy to add. You just insert it into the track. And then once you hang the track to the ceiling, you connect it to the other track. Really easy. The only other things you'll need is going to be your track gliders. Now these will attach directly into the single track on the ceiling and you're also going to need your curtain hooks. The little pin on hooks, you buy those from your local fabric store or even Walmart or any store for that matter. And those will hook directly into your curtain. You do not want to get the ones at Ikea because those are made for Ikea curtains. So this is all we need. It was really easy to hang these curtains. I absolutely love them and they are somewhat kissing the floor they turned out really nice All right, so we're pretty much back to a clean slate in this space. Of course, we're going to keep the main pieces of furniture, 
we need to make a decision on what art is going to be hung in this space. This one is a set of two. I'll share a picture of that. And here is a, another piece of art I already had. And I do have two of these. This one is a little bit larger than the other art that I just shared with you all. So I'll share another picture in a different angle because the glare from the sun is uh, taken away from the image. So here is the new light fixture in this space. I did share it in the last uh, video that I shared on my channel and I absolutely love it. It is perfect for this space. And the color of the fan blades it's going to be the same color that I choose for the little side table or credenza that I plan to put behind my desk. So I absolutely love the way these curtains just glide across and I do have a stopper on them so they won't go all the way. So it covers the window completely. And I don't have to worry about this one flipping off because I have it on the last hook to stop it from going all the way over. So absolutely love it, y'all. So that is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. And thank you. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.